The first two weeks of the WBG has not been very kind to your Green Bay Pikachus. Even though many of you guys enjoy Drunk Jakey, he still lost to a formidable opponent in Dan the Man in week one. In the week two, we got 1000% outplayed and outgunned by THE champion Brayden. Regardless, we won't give up our playoff odds here today as we're facing Speed Racer and the Drippy Drippy. Speed's team has some awesome synergies with having Chiyu plus Thunders Incarnate, Iron Crown and DDD Female, as well as other threats like Reggie Drago or Gyarados. I do believe this is our best team so far this season, so let's get into it, shall we? First, we have Love the Roaring Moon. Love is more of a support set this week with Tailwind, Knockoff, Breaking Swipe, and Rock Slide with Terra Dark and Boost Energy. Terra Dark is there in case we need more power off Knockoff and so we can't get taunted by a Sunderous still. Tailwind really helps both of our Pokemon in the back with Hisuian Bravery and Arcanine, which we'll talk about soon. Next, let's discuss with Lure the Milotic, who's holding the Assault Vest with Icy Wind, Alluring Voice, Muddy Water, and Flip Turn. Milotic is Terra Fairy to help with Chiyu and Regidrago, as well as slow down their other threats with Icy Wind, and overall, just be able to be a menace to society, aka just their team. I have high expectations for Lefleur. Thirdly, we have Clark the Amoongus holding Citrus Berry with Terra Dark for his Psychic Core aimed so he can't be torn by Thunderous, with Spore, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and Protect. We need to play carefully around Iron Crown with this and hope it's not Safety Goggles or Lumberry. However, our next Pokemon will help out with the Expanding Force. That Pokemon is Jones the Klefki. Jones is Terra Dark as well, so Thunderous is unable to taunt us. We chose to Terra Jones with Foul Play, Sunny Day for Arcanine and Roaring Moon, as well as Misty Terrain to get rid of Psychic Terrain and Light Screen to better deal with Chiyu. Jones can't get Oakwood by any one move due to its Focus Sash. With our support po Pokemon done being talked about, let's chat about our heavy hitters in Arcanine and Hisumi Bravery, with Arcanine being first. Gary's holding the clear ambit so Gyarados can't intimidate it, and his Protect, Wild Charge, Flare Blitz, and Player Off, along with Terra Fairy to help with Chiyu as well as Reggie Drago. Arcanine should be able to dent the opposing team so that Barry can potentially clean it up. Lastly, we have Barry the Hisuian Bravery that is Sheer Force with Life Herb and Terra Fairy. Its moves are Heat Wave, Protect, Psychic, and Dazzling Gleam for another spread move. Well, there you have it, our Week 3 team versus Speed Racer. Make sure you check out all the other coaches in the description as well as Speed Racer 2. My name is Jacob Azawi, your head coach of the Green Bay Pikachus, and we upload daily Pokemon content. So make sure you subscribe and leave a like as we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. All right, our prone brought Reggie Drago, who is Terra Steel, uh, Chiyu, which is Terra Grass, uh, Bruxish, which is Water Thunderous and Incarnate, which is Poison, Iron Crown is Fairy, and Drippling Ghost, so no Psychic Terrain, which is definitely interesting. Part of me just wants to lead uh, a Braviary and uh, Iron and, and Roaring Moon, because it can't taunt us, and then we can just fire off a. Uh, Terrifier Heat Wave. I think that's amazing, actually. I kind of like that idea a lot. But if he leads uh, Bruxish, uh, that's kind of bad. So I do want Milo in the back to try to help with that a little bit. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about Bruxish being there. I'm going to bring Milo. And I think what I want to do... Do I lead Ar have Arcanine 2? Yeah, we'll bring Arcanine 2. Because Klefki was basically there. Yeah, we're going to do that. I think that's perfect. All right, good luck. Have fun to Cody, a.k.a. Speed Racer. All right, but make sure you check out all the other coaches as well as Cody's channel down in the description as well. So good luck, have fun, and let's have a fantastic game. I'm going to exit Discord now because I don't like being on Discord because if I get, like, notifications, someone sends me a message, etc., etc., it just works out a lot better. Let's get started. Like I said, there's going to be no music, so we're going to be able to put our own music in. see Cody is gonna lead with thunderous and iron crown so this actually works out really well so I'm just gonna click tailwind in uh, terrifier there's really not a great switch in this so we're gonna hit tailwind all right terrifier heat wave let's go this should do a crap ton of damage to both all right, so he is poison, and he is crown is fairy. This is fine. He's gonna kill Roaring Moon, but this is actually perfectly okay with me. Because <clears throat> he can't taunt a dark type with prankster. And we're going to be going first, too. 
Oh! He thought that was going for Tailwind! Wrong one! Wrong one! Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage! Oh, that did a lot of damage. So I know that Roaring Moon's dead, but that's fine. They got Tailwind up. That's what we needed. That's fine. Roaring Moon did its job. All right. Um, I'm just going to go Arcanine. We're going to Heat Wave and Flare Blitz. <laughs> that's like a, we're in great shape then. Yeah, I'm just gonna Flare Blitz, and we're gonna Heat Wave. We lose nothing. I'm just gonna all, all, all out offensive here. I think it's probably correct. It's good to know that it's Terra. Well, we know it has Terra Blast. We knew it was Terra Fairy. It's gonna do a lot of damage right here, so we're in good shape. I really wanna, we, I wanna win one battle, but I really wanna win the set too. All right. He can't Thunder Wave both. Oh, it goes for Electric Train? That's, I don't think that outspeeds us still. Is it speed? That's inter That's a very interesting thing. That's still gonna die, right? Oh no, it doesn't, but Braviary should take it out. Oh nope. That's okay, that's okay. It's still gonna do a lot of damage here. Is he going Drifblin? Maybe. No, it goes Broxious. Is this going to want to switch, take it very well? I don't think so. This is going to do a lot to Bruxia still. Not a, um, dude, that does so much. All right, so Thunders is dead. We have Milo in the back. We have Protect on both of our Pokemon here. Um, <clears throat> Crown Speed's going to go off. There's two turns of Tailwind left. Goes to Chiyu. I'm wondering if it's Scarf to you potentially. I don't know. Does it have? Does Bruxus have Aqua Jet? I'm gonna just hope it doesn't. Yeah. So what I think can happen, I'm pretty sure Milo can deal with both in the back. So what I just want to do is get uh, damage off on both. I want a Dazzling Gleam here and a Wild Charge because it can't tear because it already teared Iron Crown. All right, it's so weird not hearing music while the game's playing. But it's nice, because then we'll be able to put our own music in the background, but have the game audio as well. Protects. Do you have Aqua Jet? Please don't be banded Aqua Jet. Okay, that's fine. One more turn of Tailwind. We do not have E Speed, unfortunately. I didn't want to because of Psychic Train, potentially. We did reveal Dazzling Gleam, so. Let's see. There you shook off the taunt. It's fine. So we're just gonna wild charge and we're a D Gleam. Because I don't think they can take out both. I, I, I just hope there's no Aqua Jet here. It does have Aqua Jet. Let's go Arcanine. Good, 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 good. That'll kill that. And then Milo can finish the rest with Muddy Waters, I think, right? Because Iron Crown took a lot of damage already. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Milo coming in is perfect now. Because we have Salt Vest, and we can just Muddy Water. Perfect. I think we're gonna get our first win! Not like total win, but first battle win. All we have to do is not miss Muddy Water. I'm glad it's not special attack. That could have been really bad. Alright, so we're gonna do some Muddy Water. I could Icy one, but Muddy Water just beats both. And then we're just gonna Dazzle and Gleam here. <clears throat> oh, this is so exciting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm super pumped for this because like I'm not really well versed in doubles or VGC. And I, I thought the team was a lot better, but just don't miss Muddy Water twice, basically. 
Don't do a lot. Do not flinch. The floor flinched. That's fine though, that's fine though. We still win, I think, because it can't it, Oko both. I don't think Heat Wave can kill us both. Yeah, Heat Wave can't kill any. I think we still win as long as... Okay, so what? All right, so we need to flip turn now. So now we're gonna flip turn so we don't miss. Actually, I can alluring voice. That's just alluring voice, I can't miss. So we're gonna decline an alluring voice. That's fine. And good job, let's go, Barry! Oh, this is brilliant. Good job, Braviary. Exactly what I wanted done. You got done. Let's go. GG to the first game to Cody. We're just gonna wait. We have to battle again. But that, that was great. Very happy. Woo! Exciting. I'm just seeing if he responds or something, if he messages. I don't wanna like say GG first. I wanna say GG after this that. That was a good first game. Holy cow, that came down on the wire. Woo! <clears throat> Alright, so he brought Thunderous. It's got Electric Train, so that really makes me not want to bring a Moongus. Well, we could if we bring... To be fair, I should potentially think about bringing Klefki still. Because he revealed Electric Train. So I think he's going to try to prep around this this time. I think we want to lead Milotic. And I think I'm going to lead Milotic. I'm going to lead Klefki. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave Klefki and Milotic. We brought like all special attackers pretty much that round. I wasn't except for Bruxish, but that's fine. Um, I think I do want to bring Amoongus just in case Bruxish is there. I'm gonna have Roaring Moon in the back this time for Bruxish. I think we're gonna bring, we're gonna, we're gonna bring, we're gonna lead both uh, Arcanine and Braviary on the bench here. Usually what happens when you win the first game, what you typically always want to do is bring what works. But then your opponent's going to expect that. So we have to really switch it up. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring two of the mods we didn't bring. We're, we're leading Klefki and we're leading Milotic. I'm sure he knows that it is a... Uh, that it is um, Assault Vest Milotic. No, because we took no damage from any of that. <clears throat> we took no damage from his moves, basically. So he knows we're Assault Vest. Maybe I should have let at least brought Braviary or Arcanine. Driftlim and Chiyu. All right, so I'm just gonna. So Chiyu is grass. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna light screen here with the other. I'm gonna. I can get a slow flip turn off here probably. Do I have speed in this? I forget. Uh, yeah, I ran some speed in this. I forget why. Um, hold on. Do I want to Terra? Yeah, I think I'm gonna Terra Muddy Water. And I'm gonna Light Screen here. So he's gonna Terra, is he gonna Terra Grass? Yes, he is. That's fine. So I can Light Screen up and I can't die with Klefki, which is really good here. So I do like that for sure, because we have Sash. Maybe it would have been better for us to die, but who knows. Because then we're not really abusing the uh, five turns of Trick Room, you know? Or Trick Room, Light Screen. That's fine. That got a burn, which is unfortunate. Hmm. He does Tailwind me. So I think I want to flip turn on the Driftblim. I was a crit on the Driftblim, that's really unfortunate. All right. Heat Wave was the right play. He read my Terra perfectly, so I was really good on him. So I'm gonna flip turn on the Driftblim and I'm going to set up... Is there really a point going for Misty Terrain or anything like that? Not really. I'm just going to try to follow play the Drift Bloom. He's going to Heat Wave again, but that's fine. Um, I just need to get uh, in Warring Moon safely here. 
switches out, which is good. What does he go into? Iron Crown, which is also fine, I believe. He protects. Oh my god, this is going to do so much to Crown. Not the flip turn, but the foul play. Won't do a lot, but it'll do enough, you know? I'm surprised. Hmm. <clears throat> so he can't kill us. Unless one of them got a luring voice and... I can't remember. I don't think so. Lake turns up anyway. That does quite a bit. Alright, so I'm gonna... I gotta think about this. Um, do I just want to Tailwind myself? Actually, not really. It doesn't really accomplish much. So I think I just have to... I think he, since he just... I want to really knock off the Iron Crown. I'm going to knock off Chiyu to get rid of the Life Orb. And then I'm going to just try to foul play the Iron Crown, I think. Okay, I probably should have done what worked. Hmm. What's weird is like he volt switches, that's fine. Uh I knocked off the life orb, which is good. Is he going driftling? He's not gonna go driftling probably. What is he gonna go into? I don't think Chiyu gets fairy coverage, does it? Reggie Drago, oh this could be a problem. Okay, Heat Wave's not gonna do that much. Yep, that's actually fine. Get rid of the life orb. We outspeed Reggie Drago at plus one. E 145. 270? No, we don't. If it's 145, yeah, there's no way. I just straight up killed Chiyu, which is good. We are Fairy Terra. Um, that killed that, which is really good here. Um, part of me wants to go Amoongus. Um, and then, because Drifton was the last choice, so we go Amoongus. And then, because we don't have Protect on here, I know we waste our boost energy. It was Driplum, okay. Okay, I gotta think here. Dragon energy is a problem. I could Protect, and then just go straight to Milo. Yeah, I think that's a correct play. Can Dragon energy just kill, though? Are these specs? Yeah, it just kills. So I have to Protect. No, I'm just gonna try to Spore the Reggie Drago here. I need to save Iron Crown for, or, um, I need to save Roaring Moon for Iron Crown in the back. Let's see. He does have Dragon Energy. That is gonna kill Amoongus, isn't it? Oh, it's not! He's not Specs! Okay. Citrus Berry's great. If I can Spore, I can get a free switch into Moon. He is not safety goggles. Okay. So, I think I Icy Wind, because then... Is that the last turn Tailwind? I think it was. I'm hoping it wasn't, but I believe it was. Yes, okay. Alright, so I can just Icy Wind here. And then Amoongus can help out in the back, but Amoongus actually doesn't do much here. Actually, no, 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 no. Why am I not just gonna learn voice of Reggie Drago and sludge bomb the Reggie Drago? No, that, that's way smarter to do. I need to eliminate the threat. It can't protect here. It's guaranteed sleep there, Jacob. Oh, if he goes to Iron Crown on that slot, though. Oh, yeah, I should have thought about that. I should have switched out to something else. I should have switched into Roaring Moon into that slot is what I should have done. Yeah, that's my that's my fault. Yeah, you win some and lose some, unfortunately. Oh, wow, he just... Okay, I am shocked. I thought he would switch out to Iron Crown. <clears throat> this should do a lot of damage to Red Drago. I wonder if he's a Salt Vest. Let's see. I don't think that's a Salt Vest damage. This won't quite kill, but... Okay, so... Dragon Energy is doing nothing now. So then I'm just going to, now we 100% want to, oh we had, duh, duh, it didn't do anything because we had a light screen up, I forgot we had light screen up, oh my gosh, how do I forget, it's not specs though for sure, it had to have been like some other item, so I'm just gonna icy win because it'll kill both, 
And then I think I just want to protect actually. I really want to switch Roaring Moon, but I need Roaring Moon for Iron Crown back. I can't switch right now. Yeah. I, I thought he could, but I was like, I didn't want to risk it, so. Just in case he woke up. That's fine. This is gonna do a decent bit. Um, pretty sure we can switch into the other one, right? Roaring Moon now? Yeah, we can switch into a Roaring Moon just fine now, because we're very bulky. I don't think we've taken any... Well, we can't outspeed uh, Drift Bloom anyway, but what does Drift Bloom have? Tailwind? Uh, Shadow Ball? What, it, what else has it revealed? I don't think it revealed, like, Strength Sap or anything right now. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, here's how we can get it in safely. Let's just flip turn. Uh, no, I don't want to flip turn. We're just gonna, we're gonna, um, Icy Wind again. And now, I'm just gonna switch it in. Because I don't think it can kill us with anything. Reggie Draco's really weakened anyway. Roaring Moon out to beat the Iron Crown now. Unless Driftle randomly gets Electric Brain, which I don't. It's fine. Don't spit after me. That was a crit. Let's go. <clears throat> Very happy about that. Okay. I was going for the Pollen Puff. He thought we might have been going for Pollen Puff. But we're in good shape. All right. I think I think we might have won. We might have won. Dude, let's go. I'm, I'm pretty pumped if we did. If we did pull this off, I'm going to be pretty pumped. All right. So I'm just going to Muddy Water. And... Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let's play it safe. Let's Alluring Voice Drift him, and let's just knock off the Iron Crown. Oh, he does have Strength Sap. This should still do enough to Iron Crown, right? Oh, wow. Oh, actually, Drift is going to be annoying, isn't it? Oh, it still killed it. Okay. Um, after Tailwind, we have to... Knocked off the- oh, it was a salt vest. Okay, this should do a bit. Hopefully it does enough. Otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble, right? Oh, that does like nothing. Drift is so bulky. It might be able to outstall us, right? No, po okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, thank god. But it can tailwind again. If it wakes up, we're like screwed. Okay, so I have to- Oh, I thought we were gonna do it. Um, hold on. It's not over necessarily. Um, I'm just gonna try to rock side here. It hits both. Okay, it's safe to sleep. Okay, perfect. Oh, it must have been a min speed drift blum or something without a burden. Oh, it's super bulky, we can tell on that. Okay, good. I think we got this, please. Okay, I just wanted to do that just in case he uh, went for. I think we got it! I just made a noise in my chair. I'm sorry, Ellie, who's probably editing this. All right, we're just gonna Luring Voice and we're gonna click Knockoff, and that is a GG, I think. Please. Let's go! Green Man Pikachu is on the bar, baby! Woo! I'm so pumped. Anyway, uh, thank you uh, for the great game, Cody Speed Racer. That was great. Holy cow. I was super afraid of your team. I was super afraid of NTDD and uh, shenanigans. And oh my god, that was GG. That was GG. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all the other coaches in the description. It feels good to, to win one, man. I'm like Kevin from The Office. Feels good to finally win one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We upload daily Pokemon content on the road to 100,000 subscribers by year's end. Have a great day, and I love you all. Peace.